Welcome back now to CTV Morning Live. A happy Valentine's Day to, to you and to everyone at home. So we'll certainly be seeing a lot of hearts pinned up mm -hmm. and posted uh, across the city. But uh, I think we're going to take a moment to discuss the importance of maintaining a healthy heart. That's right. Your heart is the most important organ in your body, actually. And uh, at this time of month, this time of year, Valentine's Day, it's mm -hmm. Heart Month today. Uh, heart Month uh, this year. And uh, basically, I think that uh, we take our heart for granted very often. And uh, for example, high blood pressure mm -hmm. is an issue that uh, uh, is what we call the silent killer. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you have blood, high blood pressure because you usually don't have any symptoms unless you get your blood pressure checked. Really? Yeah, so basically probably 30, 40% of people have high blood pressure and don't know it. Mm -hmm. And so I think the best thing to do is speak to your doctor and go to your clinic and get your blood pressure measured. It takes a couple of measurements because sometimes if you're running and if you're tired, it might be higher. Right. Uh, but you know, on the average, if you if you have high blood pressure for your age, and the and it depends on how old you are, mm -hmm. you need to get that checked out and treated because what happens is it puts a lot of strain on your heart and in your arteries, and you can get heart attacks, um, heart failure, mm -hmm. so even stroke related to that. And at what age should people maybe be thinking about uh, checking their blood pressure more frequently? Well, I used to say you know adult age, uh, 18 and over, but mm -hmm. I think every every any every individual 10 years and older should be checking the blood pressure because now with childhood obesity on the rise yeah. we see it in kids as well mm -hmm. but certainly um, certainly uh, any adult should be checking their blood pressure on a regular basis obviously if you're over 40 your, your risks are higher there so yeah. you should be checking it and like I said it's the silent killer it's the silent disease you really don't know that you have it you may have some vague symptoms but mm -hmm. they're not really symptoms that will tell you you have high blood pressure unless you get it checked okay and checking on a regular basis would be how often well basically uh, it depends on your situation mm -hmm. you know you really check up uh, is fine uh, if there's a if there's a t question about it then your doctor might tell you well come and check it every month or every week sometimes you might have to do it for a week in a row just mm -hmm. to make sure what you have so it okay. depends on the individual situation I think the main thing is just to be aware that you need to be checking it right okay and what are some of the causes of high blood pressure well uh, probably one of the most important causes is is uh, salt retention mm -hmm. uh, we eat a lot of salt whether we like it or not whether we know it or not because right. what happens is ordinarily we need about a teaspoon, slightly less than a teaspoon of salt a day. The average Canadian sure, consumes yeah. two to three teaspoons a day and most of that wow. comes from pre-prepared food. Yeah. So it's not adding, it's not the shaker, it's actually what you buy. Soups, canned, uh, canned soups, mm -hmm. pre-packaged foods contain a lot of salt. So you need to be taking about 2,000 milligrams a day. That's, a, that's about a teaspoon of, of salt. Please read the labels because sometimes a soup, just one cup of soup, may have a thousand milligrams a day. That's yeah. that's uh, you know almost seventy-five percent of what you should be taking on a daily basis. And, and and that's shocking because I think a lot of the time people think that a, that a healthy choice in terms of eating is that bowl. Well, that's of right. Soup. But the, the, be, make sure. So it's buyer beware. Even tomato yeah. juice, tomato juice, vegetable juices have a lot of mm -hmm. them. So now that's why you see on the market you know low salt. Read the labels. We usually talk about you know fat and cholesterol mm -hmm. and and sugar, but now we need to be talking about salt as well, because what happens is when you take a lot of salt, you retain water, and what that does, it increases your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Now before we go, I'd like to talk about the effects of not only lifestyle, but smoking. Yes. Like yes. a whopping 20 million, excuse me, 6 million people mm -hmm. across Canada, that's 20% of yes. Canadians, yes. 12 and over, are smokers. Mm -hmm. The good news is that's less than it was 10 years ago, which yeah. is very good. Uh, this is a major risk factor to mm -hmm. heart disease and, and, and cancer as well. But since we're talking about heart disease, we know that uh, coronary artery disease, heart attacks, whatever what causes your heart to, to fail, if you'd like, mm -hmm. are, is due to smoking. Uh, and we know that the best thing you can do and, you re and cut your risk immediately is stop smoking. So if you're smoking, stop smoking. Mm -hmm. If you're smoking around your kids, don't do it because your kids will get the the bad effects of secondhand smoke and lifestyle is another thing you want to do. Mm -hmm. Exercising at least 30 to 40 minutes a day, kids about 60 minutes a day on a regular okay. basis. Start young, be a, a be a sort of a mentor for your child so your children can learn these lifelong habits. Okay. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. If you'd like to learn more information, you could head to uh, Dr. Paul's website. Yes, eohu.ca. Perfect. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have your top headlines, including more on the hacking at Nortel. That's all coming up on CTV Morning Live. <laughs>